On June 29th, Pikeville Medical Center representatives traveled to Washington, D.C. to accept the prestigious National Hospital of the Year Award for the third year in a row. We invite you to join us as we present the press conference covering this historic event at the National Press Club. My name is Rick Parr. I'm president of the American Alliance of Healthcare Providers, and I want to welcome all of you here. I want to start by uh, telling you that the Hospital Choice Award started uh, in 2002, so this is actually the 10th year of the Hospital Choice Awards. The reason we're here today is because I want to recognize the fine hospitals that have uh, excelled in the old system of the application process and also have excelled under the Secret Shopper program. And uh, before I talk a lot about that, I want you to know that um, uh, today we are selecting the top 100 hospitals for the year. But even more special than that is we're going to pick the top 10. And uh, this is the first year that we're actually going to select the top 10 hospitals. We've always selected the hospital of the year. We thought that was just very important that we have at least one hospital that we can say outshines all the others. And we're pleased today that we're going to be able to recognize the hospital for doing that as well. We uh, have been in the process of transitioning the Hospital Choice Awards from the application process to uh, more of a, a, a secret shopper format. And secret shopper is not just about someone calling you on the phone to see if you have a smile in your voice and checking to see if if uh, the phone rings five times before you pick up. We actually find out a lot of things about you when we do the secret shopper. We have a whole range of events that we look at when we uh, evaluate hospitals now. And uh, each, each quarter now we're going to start evaluating 400 hospitals. In the past, in the past we've looked at 100 hospitals per quarter. We, we're going to quadruple that. We're going to start looking at 400 hospitals per quarter. And uh, so we've increased our staff to, to seven evaluators who are actually calling and looking at websites and reviewing public records. And uh, so we're pretty excited about that. And I uh, hope you are, guys are too. I was excited to visit our Hospital of the Year. Uh, this really was a sort of fascinating opportunity for me. And I can tell you, when I went to this hospital, not only did I visit the hospital, I visited the town. And I got a chance to meet the people there, walk down the streets, go into the little shops. And I was just absolutely fascinated, not only by the hospital, but by the people that live there. So one thing about this hospital that, I, that stands out in the, in the whole community is they have a sense of this southern charm that you are all aware of, but it's very acute there. It's, it's a part of the way they live. They, they breathe it. Uh, they live it 24 hours a day. Uh, and there's something else. There's a sophistication there that, that you would not expect in a little small town. These people really know what they're doing. I'm, I'm really impressed with them. And so I want to have an opportunity at this time to give Pikeville Medical Center uh, an opportunity to say hello to the group. I believe Pikeville is something special and to fully understand it you do need to visit there and be our secret shopper. Pikeville Medical Center is located in the heart of Appalachia. We have been blessed to have a CEO who sets an easy standard uh, in terms of understanding what the standard is as we deal with our patients and the people in our community. And it is quite simply, he expects perfection. And that's a tough goal to meet, and perfection is a high standard. But he believes that only in trying to achieve perfection do we achieve excellence day after day. And I believe Pikeville Medical Center has done that. We are a Christian organization. And every person on our staff and everyone coming through our doors sees our Christian mission. And what does that equate to? Basically that you treat other people like you would want to be treated. And it has made all the difference in our hospital. Ten years ago we had a slogan, dream big and big things happen. That has occurred in a little town of 6,500 people in the mountains of eastern Kentucky we have, we believe, achieved greatness. Thank you. Now, one of the key members of our selection committee, Dr. Marvin Bernard. Mm -hmm. 
Good morning to everyone, um, to all the representatives in the healthcare industry. First of all, welcome you to our home. Um, as you have traveled um, from near and far, uh, we welcome you and we will surely act as hosts to entertain you, uh, to show you our love, just as we have gotten love from you when we have visited you uh, in your place of work. So. Um, first of all, so I feel so blessed to be a part of this organization. I'm a consultant uh, to the El Presidente uh, there, Rick Parr, you know. <laughs> and so, um, and I've been, I've known him for six years, and I'm really committed, and we have a kindred of spirit um, in terms of the mission, in terms of effect, uh, effecting health care in this country. Uh, and I've been blessed to um, visit um, Pikeville on, in two years and in terms of assessing them. And I have some more words for them later on at the, at the, at the banquet. Um, but in this time, in terms of being here in Washington, D.C., uh, where it's not only hot here <laughs> weather-wise, it's always hot here in D.C. Um, politically. Uh, and as we know in terms of uh, the health care reform that is very timely that we're having uh, this conference here uh, in this city, in this setting, uh, with the Supreme Court ruling. The Patient Protection Affordable Care Act uh, deals with um, hospital or health care reform. But it's, you, that usually deals with dollars. You know, when most people think about that's covers, that's dollars. You know, but what you guys have demonstrated is health care transformation, okay? And just having the dollars to pay for something doesn't mean you're going to really get quality care. It's really about the delivery of that care and how it's done, okay? So really the true reform is sitting here, you know, right here. We have a lot of talking heads in Washington, D.C. <laughs> but you are doing heads, you know, and it's, it's the difference between the talkers and the doers. And you do it every day. You know, so that's the difference. And um, Rick wanted me to say a few words in terms of leadership skills, in terms of cultural change. And I just, I've, I've been blessed my whole life in terms of working in the areas where uh, I, I truly believe that you, you just have it in your DNA. You know, uh, I can tell uh, one of my skill sets I think that he uses me for is that uh, uh, I have good analytical skills and a broad background. Uh, and I can tell um, what is a contender from a pretender, okay? There, there's a lot of pretenders out there, you know, uh, but you are contenders, you know, and to tell the real from the fake, you know, so it's more than just words because we go through the words in the paper, you know, to your spirit in terms of how you're connecting with your community. Um, I've traveled um, with Rick and it's also the laying on of hands in terms of being a part of the community and seeing the impact in health care um, to the people that you serve and always having them centered and treating them like family. Um, so, you know, to me, leadership, again, is a, it's a part, it's something that is revealed. It's not something that is put on. Uh, and in this city, there's a lot of put on. There's a lot of people who can put on the suit. We know the suits to put on. We know the things to say, you know, but is it really in there? You know, and when you're with people and you can feel it and they can demonstrate it through the people that give the testimony, the patients themselves give a testimony in terms of how you impact them on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, you know, that makes it very real. So um, I look for things. I have... Uh, uh, seven pillars of excellence, and I won't be closing soon. You, you can always yank me. <laughs> uh, seven pillars of excellence that I think all of you share, or you would not be here. And this involves the three C's, the three ships, and the one spirit. And the three C's, the first C is really uh, concern. And that you have to demonstrate concern and passion about the work that you do. And that passion, uh, you wake up with that passion, you know, and you maintain that passion uh, when times get hard, 
you know, in terms of your concern for patients. Uh, and the second C is caring. And caring has to deal with the manner in which the health care is delivered. You know, it's not just knowing. You know, it's, it's how it actually is executed on a day-in, day-out basis. Uh, it's not only um, doing the right thing. Uh, it's doing the thing right. Okay. And then the third C is commitment. You have to have that commitment and that dedication that this is this you're in it for the long haul you know we're not this is not just a snapshot you know here this is just going to be a moment in time it's going to come and go you know but it's uh, you live in a movie which is ongoing and you know and so the fact that it's ongoing and you are committed to it day in and day out you know is is a critical factor and then when we get to the three ships where well, that first ship is is the key which is the leadership Okay, which is the leadership, and that's being that pioneer uh, to lead the way. Uh, we use the symbol of the eagle in terms of the eagle that can soar above it all and that can fly. But when did the eagle first know it could fly? You know, the first time it stepped out of that nest, did it know? You know, would it fall? How did it know? So it's something inside that tells you you got to go and you got to go for it, and you see other people around that's going to going to join you in that battle. So in terms of being having leadership, the next aspect is township. Township is the community. You have to effectuate progressive change within your community. Um, the third ship is mentorship. You have to reach down in the generations that's coming after you, after you to, to continue your work, you know, because we, uh, we old guys are not always going to be here. But we have to give a link. We are links in a chain in terms of bringing people forward. And the last one uh, is one spirit, and that's the connectivity of us all, you know, to our creator that we have that connects us all. And so actually, um, uh, due to Pikeville, I may modify my, my, my talks on these seven pillars from three seas, uh, three ships, and one spirit to three seas and four ships because with them, with their graciousness, um, whether they were on stage or not, on cue or not, um, they also had fellowship. And so that's the key. You know, this is the real deal here. And it, coming soon, uh, everyone's going to know. You know, but you're going to be so far ahead, you know. They, you're going to be so far ahead, but you can give tutorial sessions, I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I wanted to give Pikeville and any other of our representatives an opportunity to make a formal presentation. My background is a trial attorney, and I have learned that it's easy to not only say the words, but many of us learn visually and can understand the picture painted better in a visual context. So we have prepared a short presentation for you all to see today. It captures a little bit of the spirit of Pikeville Medical Center, and I hope you enjoy it. We are Pikeville Medical Center, named the National Hospital of the Year by the American Alliance of Healthcare Providers three times. Our journey began more than 90 years ago. Our founders met in a local coffee shop to discuss the creation of a hospital that could provide care to the people of our area, people who would previously have traveled hours by train just to get basic medical care. While our beginnings may have been humble, this hospital has continuously grown and expanded services to meet the needs of a multi-state region. When the founders first met, they could never have imagined where the journey would lead, a hospital that has evolved into a world-class facility with state-of-the-art equipment, world-renowned doctors, and the most passionate, caring employees to be found anywhere. A hospital that has been named the nation's top hospital three times. In order to fully understand and appreciate our journey, it's important to understand the service area. While Pikeville is a town of just over 6,500 people, we service a densely populated service area. It used to be that the economy of our region was driven by coal. Now we can say it is also driven by rapidly expanding health care, as well as the natural gas industry. 
the abundant supply of affordable energy and health care services provides our region with a very stable economy, buffered against many of the ups and downs of Wall Street. To combat the major health concerns of our region, including diabetes, cardiovascular disease, obesity, pulmonary disease, and cancer, we work diligently to find the best solutions available, the best facilities, the best equipment, the best physicians, and the best staff. Our patients deserve nothing less than our best efforts. Pikeville Medical Center is a true regional referral center. Transfers into our hospital from other regional hospitals are up sharply. In the past few years, the number of transfers in has increased by an incredible 600 percent. Growth and construction have become the norm for Pikeville Medical Center. From 2005 to 2010, we opened several new facilities, including an outpatient diagnostic center and lab station, neurosurgery, rehabilitation and pulmonology offices. Construction of our new medical office building and parking facility is well underway, with a price tag of more than $130 million. Our new medical facility will house 11 floors of office space, clinical space, and outpatient surgery. Upon completion, Pikeville Medical Center will concentrate its physicians in a single venue, following the Mayo Clinic model of hospital physician integration. This will allow easy access to physicians' offices as well as to the main hospital facility. Our new emergency department opened in the summer of 2010. This $10 million expansion allows for the best in emergency care. Today is another great day in Pikeville Medical Center's history. We are so proud to have everyone from our community to share this new emergency department with us. Uh, as Mr. May did say, it's a $10 million gift that we're giving to the community. Uh, but it means so much to this organization so we can provide that quality care. Our new emergency department paves the way for the next level of care. Due to automobile crashes, head trauma, mining accidents, and ATV accidents, many seriously injured patients were previously flown to trauma centers in central Kentucky, Tennessee, or West Virginia. Pikeville Medical Center is set to become a certified trauma center with the American College of Surgeons in the very near future, treating the severely injured and the very ill. Technology has been one of the keys to our growth, and we continue to acquire the best in the industry. We have installed two 320-slice CT scanners, positioning us as the only hospital in the world to offer two of the fastest and most detailed scanners available. Our radiology department is known as one of the best equipped in the nation. During the last year, we added another large-bore Toshiba Aquilion 1 CT scanner. This machine accommodates patients up to 650 pounds and is a good option for those who are uncomfortable in small spaces. In addition, our radiology department has two 1.5 Tesla MRIs and the exponentially stronger 3.0 Tesla MRI. We invested more than $10 million in two state-of-the-art variant linear accelerators with rapid art technology. These accelerators are so advanced they can track a lung tumor in a patient and automatically adjust the beam as the patient breathes, hitting a moving target. PMC is one of only 70 hospitals in the United States to offer the Locomat therapy. The Locomat uses a computer program to guide the patient's legs in a natural pattern, allowing for more intense training. The patient achieves a natural gait and relearns how to walk. Pikeville Medical Center is one of only 17 rehabilitation hospitals in the country to offer pediatric extensions for treating children with the Locomat. The combination of first-class facilities, the best equipment available, and a highly motivated support staff has enabled Pikeville Medical Center to achieve unmatched success in the recruitment of qualified physicians covering most all of the major medical specialties. Our team of dedicated physician recruiters attend professional physician conferences and are charged not just with recruiting qualified professionals, but with recruiting the best who are available. And when I started at the hospital, I had a conversation with Mr. May, and he shared with me that he thought we had a wonderful story to tell about Pikeville, and he was absolutely right. And he said that we were the best people to tell that story. My background is in the performing arts, and so I've been telling stories my whole life. And I really jumped at the chance to have face-to-face -face contact with these physicians and tell them all the wonderful things about Pikeville, the city, and the hospital. Pikeville Medical Center made a commitment several years ago to build a world-class heart program. We've made serious progress.
we recently solidified our commitment with an affiliation with the Cleveland Clinic Heart Surgery Program. Our surgeons in the Heart Institute are credentialed at Cleveland Clinic, and we are mirroring their best practices while exchanging information and research. The addition of Dr. J, trauma surgeon, has been a big plus for Pikeville Medical Center, and two of Cleveland Clinic's physicians, Dr. Thomas Helton and Dr. James Poliquin, have actually decided to move their practices from Cleveland to Pikeville. The Pikeville Medical Center Leonard Lawson Cancer Center has won the Commission on Cancer's Outstanding Achievement Award. Pikeville Medical Center is the only hospital in Kentucky to be honored twice and consecutively by this distinction. Plus, our inpatient oncology unit has been ranked number one in patient satisfaction by HealthStream Research, also for a second consecutive time. The new Leonard Lawson Cancer Center is newly renovated, state-of-the-art facility. Our patients enjoy easy access, convenient parking, and a facility designed with the patient in mind. Our team of 10 cancer doctors aim for excellence, and they're prepared to fight the battle of cancer with individualized patient care. Pikeville Medical Center has one of the state's only gynecological oncologists on staff, and we've added three female gynecologists and opened two new gynecology centers. As we continue to optimize our opportunities to serve, we've been honored with the Women's Certified Award for Excellence in Women's Care. The Pikeville Medical Neuroscience Center offers a complete continuum of care. Our 40-bed rehabilitation hospital has also been ranked number one in patient satisfaction out of more than 400 hospitals as surveyed by HealthStream Research and our primary stroke center has been awarded the Joint Commission's Gold Seal of Approval and the American Stroke Association's Gold Plus Stroke Award. Pikeville Medical Center is one of the most awarded and recognized hospitals in the country. In addition to the awards already mentioned, we've been recognized as a best regional hospital by U.S. News and World Report in three medical specialties. At Pikeville Medical Center, our mission is to provide quality regional health care in a Christian environment, and we strive to make that mission a reality every day. Pikeville Medical Center recently expanded our chaplaincy staff to provide spiritual support to our patients and their families 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But that's just the beginning. Our Christian mission extends far beyond the confines of the hospital. In times of tragedy and turmoil, Pikeville Medical Center stands ready to answer the call for help. We roll up our sleeves, heal the sick, mend the wounded, and help our fellow man. We don't do it for recognition. We do it because it's the right thing to do. In 2005, we answered the call by raising more than a quarter of a million dollars and sending a medical team to New Orleans in response to Hurricane Katrina. In 2010, it was Hearts for Haiti. In July of that same year, Pike County flood aid. In March of 2012, Eastern Kentucky experienced an unimaginable disaster. Tornadoes struck several communities. Many of our patients and employees were directly affected. We launched a tornado relief radiothon to raise funds for victims right here in our own backyard, raising more than $200,000. We also sent Pikeville Medical Center staff members to other community hospitals in the disaster zone to help those facilities continue to provide service as their communities tried to put their lives back together. In 2011, we provided more than $70 million in charity and uncompensated care for a two-year period, a staggering sum for any hospital, but we continue to surpass even that. We are projecting more than $78 million for fiscal years 2011 and 2012. When we say we want to provide quality regional health care in a Christian environment, we really mean it. One of the biggest issues facing any employer is the recruitment and retention of good employees. In 2010, Pikeville Medical Center hired more than 500 employees. Now more than ever, it's an exciting time to be in HR. We hired over 550 employees last year at Pikeville Medical Center, and we are growing each and every day. We are proud to announce over 800 jobs were added in 2011, and we're not slowing down. We are experiencing unprecedented growth, hiring clinical and non-clinical staff to service the growing needs of our patients. On completion, our $130 million expansion will provide hundreds of new jobs. In addition, our forecasts have forced us to consider that once the current expansions are done, we will probably need to start planning for even more. In fact, we've just announced the purchase of additional properties as a hedge for future expansion. Pikeville Medical Center is not just providing jobs. We're providing jobs people love. 
Our employees are surveyed annually for satisfaction, and their response has been tremendous. Pikeville Medical Center has been named the number one hospital to work for in Kentucky for three consecutive years, and one of the top five hospitals to work for in the country. And the respect is mutual. We believe we have the best staff anywhere. While these accolades are impressive, it's not just about the awards. It's about doing the right thing for our patients by bringing them the best care possible and providing the highest level of customer service and quality health care. Pikeville Medical Center will continue to hire the best doctors, increase our services, improve our facilities, upgrade our technology, and concentrate on patient comfort and satisfaction. We will always continue to raise the bar of excellence. We are Pikeville Medical Center, and we are the National Hospital of the Year. Hello, everybody. I'm Walter May, President and CEO of Pikeville Medical Center, and we're still the one. <laughs> Well, that was outstanding. And so that ends our program for tonight. For today. Thank you all. Join us now for the awards banquet celebrating Pikeville Medical Center's designation as National Hospital of the Year for the third year in a row. Ladies and gentlemen, Pikeville Medical Center, three times Hospital of the Year. Would someone please representing the hospital come and receive this award? Thank you. <laughs> this is an amazing feat. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys have achieved beyond our wildest expectations. We didn't expect, and we've been doing this for 10 years, we didn't expect any hospital to win three years in a row. Matter of fact, it's never been done, and we're so proud of you. As a matter of fact, we've got another award for you. <laughs> this award represents the Hospital of Choice Emeritus. The first time we're giving this honor to any hospital, you'll no longer have to compete. You'll always be a hospital of choice. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow. Wow. It's been an amazing year. Kentucky wins the national championship and we become a hospital emeritus. It doesn't get any better. But as each of you know that's here tonight, no one person makes it happen. There are the persons, or the person or persons that have the dream, that inspire the rest of us to achieve what we do, that challenge us every day to be the best we can be. The right leader challenges us every day to do that. And I think all of us here would like to say thank you to Walter E. May, our CEO, who has made that happen for Pikeville Medical Center. And every time a decision is asked to be made in our organization, Mr. May looks up and says, how does this decision affect patient quality? How does it affect the care that we give our patients? And I think as long as each one of us stays true to that, we will have outstanding hospitals all across this country, regardless of what the legislature says, what the Senate says, or what the Supreme Court says. Because each one of us has a mission. It's a critically important mission. And thank you, Pikeville Medical Center, for letting me be your spokesperson. We've had a wonderful, wonderful experience, and I want you guys to remember this because we are going nowhere but forward. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for joining us for this special presentation. Congratulations to the Board of Directors, Administration, Physicians, and Staff Members at Pikeville Medical Center, the National Hospital of the Year. <laughs>